What's up guys, this is Alex Chess one and today I'm going to teach you guys how to make a clock in Java. So that's going to be pretty awesome. So as you can see, I've done most of the housekeeping for you guys. Um, I've imported the stuff and um, I've done the housekeeping stuff like, you know, setting the title and everything. And all this is in the description so we can get right to making the timer itself. Like the action listener and everything else. So let me just give you a brief on what I've done already. Basically, this is going to execute our uh, <coughs> class right over here. Everybody knows that a Java program has to have a main method. And here it is. So basically, what this is doing is once it, once it reads this, it's going to execute its own constructor, which is this. And then this constructor will execute the, this, the clocks classes constructor, which is this. Awesome. All right. That is awesome. And here what I've done is I've imported all the things we'll need okay and since this is gonna be a GUI we need to extend it for JFrame and I've made two uh, components over here so one text field where the time will be displayed and the panel where the text field you know will rest in I guess and here's some of the housekeeping stuff like the title um, the size the default close operation you guys should all know what this means and sometimes if people don't know what set location relative to me, uh, means, it basically means that set the location to uh, null, like to zero. So basically it's, you know, the center. Okay. So now what we're going to do is basically start, um, you know, making the clock itself. Before we do that, we need to initialize these uh, components. So let's, let's do that. So initialize, let's put a comment, initialize, I'm a bad speller, the panel first. So we're going to initialize the panel first, and we'll do panel equals new J panel, and then panel dot set layout. So we'll set the layout, and we'll do a new flow layout, layout. So that's that, it's done. And now we'll initialize our uh, text field so uh, time f so the f stands for field so time field equals new j text field and we'll set the length of that to 10 you know 10 is a good number and now what we're going to do is time f dot set editable and basically it takes one parameter and what it means is that uh, uh, what it's called it means to let it you know if you want it to set like if you set it to true then it will be editable if you set it to false it won't be that's what it means editable and we'll set it to false because we don't want anybody messing with time and now we'll set the font because nobody likes crap font. So set font and we'll do new font and this will take three parameters or three arguments wh whichever way you want to you know call it. And I forgot set over here so set font and new font it will take three parameters. The first will be the name of your font. Second will be if you want it bold, plain, whatever. Third will be the size. So let's put in Arial. You can go with anything. Then we'll do uh, font dot plane whoops font dot plane and then we'll put in 30 no 48 to 48 so that's good now we set the font so we're doing good we're doing good let me just leave a comment over here awesome now let's add the text field to the panel and then we'll add the panel to the frame. So panel dot add time field, so time f, and then we'll add the panel. So add panel. Good. This is very good. Now what we need uh, need to do is get make the timer. Now remember we're using a Java dot Java X timer. It's not the util timer, it's a totally different thing. So what we here can do, what we need to do, sorry, is go timer t equals new timer. 
and this takes two parameters the first parameter is the delay time so we'll set the delay time to a one second so a thousand millisecond and we'll set the second one to a action listener that we're gonna make so new listener and since we haven't made it yet it's gonna give us an error so let's go ahead and get out of our constructor and make um, the inner class so so class listener implements action listener and then we'll curly braces and then public void action performed action event e and curly braces one more time and that's that we forgot to do one very important thing is to start the timer so t dot start boom alrighty now as you can see we have one more import that we haven't used and that's the calendar and this is very important because without this our timer will, will not function so let's use a calendar and let's go ahead and make an object so calendar right now we'll call it equals calendar calendar dot get instance and basically you could see is that what it get instance means is that get gets a calendar using the default time zone and the locale so basically get the default time and let's double click on that and that's what we're gonna send our object to now we're gonna need three things there's an hour there's minutes and there's seconds and we get we can get that from the instance so let's put int hour equals right now dot get calendar dot hour of days so what's the hour of the day okay now we have minutes and seconds so int minute or min equals right now dot get calendar dot minute right over there and basically this is the minute in the hour that we just got right over here and now let's get the seconds in the minute so in sec equals right now dot get calendar dot second and basically this will get the second within the minute awesome now we have these three things and now we just need to print them out okay so now we just need to print this out so simple we can just do we can use our time field so timef dot set text and of course it has to have a string in it so let's just do that and then what we're gonna do is do plus whoops we're gonna do hour plus okay and then here we'll put in a colon and then we'll do plus minute so min plus another string which will be our colon again plus second so sec boom that's that now you may be asking how will this just keep updating right well see we started the timer but we didn't stop it right so that's why it'll just keep updating until you close it and that's why it just keeps updating all right so it seems that we have no errors so let's just go ahead and save that go to our executor over here and let's run this let's see how it ends up alrighty so there we go 1453 and that is what my uh, uh that that's what my time is right now 253 and as you can see it goes into uh I don't know, army time but that's that's okay I'm sure you guys can read army time okay and that's basically it guys thanks for watching um I hope my video has helped you be sure to comment rate and subscribe and everything is in the description so that's it good luck i'll see you guys later